Hey goddess, I hope you're well and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Rachel Abbey and I do videos all about spirituality, saving up for the future, property, mental health and so much more. So if you are interested in any of those topics, definitely subscribe to the channel. Now, I wish I was coming to you today with good news sharing that I have achieved something amazing <laughs> or something great has happened to me but unfortunately that is not the case for this video and I'm literally coming to you with my head hung in shame full of regret and I barely can even get the words out of my mouth because what I did I now realize was so stupid <sighs> oh. <laughs> I feel like crying <laughs> basically what I did was I wasted essentially over 11,000 pounds by paying off my student loan debt early oh. <laughs> this is a major major muck up if you live in the UK and if you studied in the UK because what I didn't realise is that student loan debts here in the UK are a really good type of debt to have because one the interest rates on them are so low especially if you graduated before 2012 like I did I graduated in 2011 and that means that I was on plan one so the interest rate was really or is really really low um, and number two student loan debts here in the UK are the only type type of debt where they waive off the remainder of your debt if you don't pay it back within I think it's 25 years it's the only type of debt that exists like that in the UK where the remaining balance is just completely wiped off but I thought I was being financially savvy and you know being all clever by using some of the savings or even like most of the savings that I had in 2018 to pay off the remainder of my debt early and I now live to regret it because what I have learned since then is that it makes a lot more financial sense to actually use that money towards a house and getting on the property ladder quicker or to use that money to start investing because usually the rate of return that you get on investments will just far outweigh the amount of money and interest you'll have to be paying back on student loans. Now, where I believe I went wrong was just being really short-sighted, like short-term focused. I was really kind of like peed off about the money that used to get deducted from my payslip every month because of my student loan. And I don't remember how much used to get deducted. I may put it on the screen somewhere um, in terms of how much I had to get pay every month um, from my payslip towards the student loan debt. But what I do remember is that when I paid the student loan debt off, my take home pay every Every month it only increased by about 200 pounds so actually the amount of money that I was now getting paid as a result of being student loan debt free wasn't actually that different compared to when I was paying off the debt like don't get me wrong 100 pounds 200 pounds that amount of money is great and it is a sizable amount and it could do a lot but it wasn't so grand that my whole lifestyle had changed and all of that jazz <laughs> so basically I just I I made this mistake because I didn't have enough financial knowledge at the time to realize that it would make for more financial sense to use those savings towards buying a house and getting on the property ladder when you know house prices were cheaper in 2018 <laughs> compared to now or I should have simply just taken some time out a few months to really learn about how to start investing and then start using that money to to invest so I definitely live to regret the decision now especially because you know if you've been subscribed to my channel how long I have been saving up 
to actually get on the property ladder now and to buy my first home and I could have potentially done this probably like four months earlier if I didn't use that 11k towards paying off my student loan debt I guess it is what it is we live and we learn but what I would say to you if you are a recent graduate or if you graduated years ago and you've been able to save up a chunk of money and you're thinking about should I use this to buy a home or should I use it towards a deposit um, or should I use it towards paying off my student loan debt again if you are UK based it just doesn't make financial sense to use that wad of cash towards clearing your loan because the interest rates are so low and you know if the way it works is that the debt is actually cleared off it's wiped off anyway if you don't pay off the full amount within a number of years and that is the only kind of debt in the UK that exists that is like that. I was 28 years old when I paid it off and I thought I was doing something amazing here but I guess with a bit more research I've realised that it was a complete waste of money in a sense and don't get me wrong like the emotional feeling of being debt free you can't really knock that like it's yeah I do feel a lot lighter knowing that I don't have any debts at the moment um but when I realised that actually I could have put that money towards a house deposit or I could have used that money towards an emergency fund, yeah, it just pains my heart knowing that I've basically thrown away <laughs> 11k to the pigeons basically and now I'm having to kind of like save extra, extra, extra hard because I basically spent money two years ago that I shouldn't have spent so let me know your thoughts about this are you currently paying off your student loan debt and if you are what are your thoughts about it like does it pain you every month to see the deductions on your monthly paycheck or do you just ignore it and see it as a graduate tax as Martin Lewis from the money saving expert <laughs> says um you know or did, did you do what I did and did you pay off your student loan debt early and if you did how did you feel at the time how does it make you feel now um I'd love to hear your opinions on this because I personally know people who have also paid off their student loan debt early and not everyone realizes that we could actually have used that money for better things like an emergency fund or buying a house or investing um but I guess there's no point me regretting it now it is what it is it's too late for me to go back in time and you know demand that money back from the student loans company but I think going forward if I can give any kind of advice I definitely would say to you know don't do what I did I was very heavily following Dave Ramsey who is based in the US he's a financial advisor who has his own like radio talk show he gives financial advice to people who are mainly who are in debt and who want to clear their debts and achieve, achieve financial freedom he is a strong believer that everyone should pay off their student their student loan debts as quickly as possible and that's why I decided to pay mine off quickly because I just thought all kinds of debt is bad and we should pay off ASAP I didn't realize that debts or at least student loan debts work very differently here in the UK um so yeah if you're if I can go back in time or give you some advice now I would say don't follow David Ramsey when it comes to student loan debts follow UK based financial advisors um money shackled up I think it's called is a really good um UK based um financial YouTube channel I'll leave the link in the screen and also in, in the description box um I think it's just called money shackled actually but whatever it's called they give really great um UK based financial advice so I now follow them as opposed to Dave Ramsey um and there are also a number of other UK based financial YouTube channels that I follow because the advice that they're given actually is relevant to us in the UK and it makes sense to us in the UK so if I can give any advice I would say don't pay off your student loan debt early and follow 
UK based financial advisors or YouTube channels if you want to get clear about how you can improve your financial situation. Um, but yeah, that is essentially how I wasted over £11,000 by paying off my student loan debt. I wish I didn't do it, but I guess it is what it is. Let me know if you found this video helpful. Please like the video if you found it helpful. Leave a comment below sharing your own experiences paying off your student loan or not paying your student loan debt off. Um, also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of my future um, my future videos and also hit the notification bell so that YouTube actually tells you when I have a new video. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you soon.